Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabuck.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today, I'm going to be showing you a really, really sweet card and a little treat box. This is part of the One Stamp at a Time blog hop, and our theme for the month of January is happinesses. So, I had to grab my rainbows and sunshine, of course, and the rainbows of happiness bundle to share with you and make you some really, really pretty projects. Let's flip this camera around. I'll tell you all about this beautiful bundle of product and how you can get the designer series paper absolutely free. I am going to get started. This is the beautiful Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. And at the end of my video, I'll tell you all about um, our celebration promotion. This is six by six paper. You get 48 sheets of double-sided six by six paper, absolutely free with a $50 purchase between now and the end of February. So we're gonna be using this because of course, with the theme like happiness is for the one stamp at a time blog hop, this just screams happiness, right? I'm also going to be using the Rainbow of Happiness stamp set as well as the Brilliant Rainbow Dies. These are so much fun. I sat down and within 20 minutes, I whipped up a card and I think you guys are just going to love it. And that just tells me when a bundle is super easy to use, it's easy to create with, I automatically fall in love with it. We're also going to be using some Wink of Stella. We've got some brand new um, embellishments here called the Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. They come in three sizes. I've used most of mine. Versamark ink, white embossing powder. We have a heat tool here. And I'm also going to bring in the black and white Baker's Twine from the Playful Pet Ribbon Combo Pack. You get both of these, the red and white with the stitch um, stripe in there is really cool as well as this black and white. Okay, let's get started on our card. So here comes all of our layers. We are going to have a basic white thick layer. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter and we're going to burnish that edge good with our bone folder. Then we have a piece of this really pretty rainbow colored designer series paper. This is three quarters by five and a quarter. I've got a piece of magenta madness, a piece of basic white. These are all scraps. I've got a half inch strip of basic black. And then I took this rainbow paper and I cut it four and a quarter by five and a half. I've also got a piece here for our envelope. We're gonna decorate the flap. This is two and a half by six. And then this particular pattern, we're going to cut this and use the strip of rainbows. So let's start out with our envelope flap here. Now, if you follow me, you know that I love to decorate my envelopes. And this is the easiest way to make a smashing display in somebody's mailbox is to make sure that their envelope is just as happy or beautiful as the card. So I like to decorate my envelopes. When somebody opens up their mailbox, they're like, whoa, look at this. And they can't wait to open your card. So you just put some glue on your flap and then you're gonna trim using the opposite side here. So I'm using this flap as a template. And look at how pretty that is. That's gonna look spectacular coming in somebody's mailbox. Next, I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer and I'm going to trim. I want one row of these rainbows. So there's not really much as far as rhyme or reason. It's not really measured. You're just going to cut a strip of rainbows just like that. And then let's see, I wanted to tell you guys what size this particular layer is because we're going to do some die cutting on this. This is Magenta Madness. Uh, it's two and a quarter by five and a half. And we're going to take the Brilliant Rainbow Dies 
and we're gonna take this border, this scalloped border. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to die cut this as close to the edge without you know hitting the edge. I'm gonna die cut this edge and then I'm gonna die cut this edge. I'm gonna take this piece of white and we're going to die cut some of these. There's four little cloud dies. So I'm gonna die cut four of those. That's gonna that's gonna do for the die cutting. I'm gonna get this done, I'll be right back. I wanted to bring all of these in here. Here's all our little white clouds. And then I wanted to show you how easy these dies cut. Look at all those little centers from the scallops just fall right out. They look like a bunch of little rainbows on the edge, right? Okay, let me get this mess cleaned up. And pretty much everything comes right out of the die too. So you don't have to do all this picking of all the pieces or anything like that. This is a really, really nice little die. All right, we're gonna take this layer and we're gonna put our rainbows right on here. Now you could cut this a little narrower if you wanted to before you die cut. This one is a little bit wider than I anticipated it would be. So I am going to put some glue on here. And we're gonna add this right to the center. Another thing I could do was I could put another layer under this white layer too, but I'm gonna leave it just like this. I would have liked this to be a little bit smaller. Okay, we're gonna trim this off. I'll show you the other one I made that is a little bit closer too. Okay, so we've got that. Then we're gonna take that big piece of this piece and we're actually going to glue this side down. And don't worry, you get four sheets of each one of these patterns, I think, which is a nice amount to get in a pack of cardstock. Okay, so here comes this layer. Then we're gonna bring this in. I told you this was just the easiest card to make. I was just so like, so shocked when I'm like, wow, I just like totally threw that together in 20 minutes. I absolutely love it. Okay, so we've got that. Next, what we're gonna do, I wanna grab, this is one of our piercing mats and I just cover it with some typing weight or printer weight paper. And I've got these little clouds and I thought they would look super, super cute with some Wink of Stella. So they have that just that little bit of glimmer on them. This is our clear Wink of Stella glitter brush. I think these are like $8. They last forever and they're fantastic to add just that little bit of something to your cards. So we're gonna put these clouds up on dimensionals. I'll put one. I didn't get this one centered very good, so I'll put, oops, not two, just one. I'll put another one right there. And this is my favorite tool. I use this tool every single time that I stamp, and it is called a take your pick tool. It has several different features. It's got a little spatula and a piercing end, as well as this putty end, which you're gonna watch me, you're gonna see me pick up my embellishments with it, and you can pick up other little things with this. It is a fantastic tool, it's only $10. So if you don't have a tool like this, or maybe your tool doesn't do all the fun things, I would certainly recommend this one. And you can of course find this in my store on my blog. And I think I, I covered up the wrong side of, look at, I covered up the wrong side. Okay, so we're gonna have to do Wink of Stella on these again, because I only turned one of them over. <laughs> and sometimes things like that happen, don't they? So I'm gonna put my clouds on. We're gonna have to do Wink of Stella again. 
because I put it on the side that I just put dimensionals on, on I think three of these. This one has, this one has some glitter on this side, but the rest of them, it's not gonna be there. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we'll just do that again. It's quick and easy. Just like that, and I think you can see that clear glitter on there that's just so pretty. Okay, now my sentiment, I wanted to put a sentiment on the front of here, so I grabbed my Versamark ink, and I got my stamp set all mounted here. I'm gonna use the sentiment that says, you make me happy. And of course, with our theme being happiness is, how perfect is that? There we go. And white embossing powder. Always make sure you close your ink pad up before you get your embossing powder out because if you spill embossing powder in your ink pad, it's not fun and you can't really get it out. It's kind of a mess. So I like to make sure this is always closed and my ink pad's always closed. Just a good little rule of thumb there. Okay, we are going to heat set this. And I think we've got this done. You want to just heat set that until you don't see it. You need to, this needs to be glossy. And when it's no longer dull, it is heat set and it's ready to use. I'm going to bring in my black dimensionals now. Black dimensionals come in a combo pack. You get the mini ones and the regular size. And I really like these when I'm using darker cardstock because then you won't see any of that white peeking out from behind it. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to cut, I need to trim my ends. I wanted to cut these, so I just repositioned those a little bit. We're gonna cut that at a slant and cut this at a slant. And let's just add some neat interest. I like to use my take your pick tool to get these backings off, especially if you have really short fingernails, um, it's helpful. I'm gonna put this right in here, super duper cute, and then I'm gonna grab that black twine and tie a bow. Who doesn't love black and white twine? I always love twine. Just one of those little things you can add to your card. It doesn't, the twine is relatively inexpensive and it doesn't add a lot of bulk. So your, your male person isn't losing their mind over your bulky envelope, <laughs> right? And mini glue dots. Again, I like to use my take your pick tool because I can do all kinds of things with this. I like to like curl this up into a little log so that when I put it on my card, it's not sticking out all over under, out from underneath my baker's twine. So I kind of rolled it up there a little bit. Oh my gosh, doesn't that just add that little pop? Last but not least on this card, oh, we've got a couple things left. We're gonna add some embellishments. These are my new favorite embellishments. They're called Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. And of course, you can find these on in my online store. They are so pretty. They just jazz up anything you put them on. And they are my new favorite. I can't stop using them. And maybe one more right there. Look at how that adds that little bit of bling to go with our um, Wink of Stella, our glittery clouds. Now, I have a three quarter inch piece of this rainbow paper that has the like pool party hearts on the back. I'm just gonna add this to the inside of my card to add a little bit of decoration in here. I'm not gonna stamp a sentiment on the inside. I'm gonna leave it blank so that I can use it for whatever I want to use it for. Later, if I need to, I can stamp a happy birthday in here. Um, a thank you. Trim that off a little bit. Here is our super duper cute little card. Doesn't this just scream happiness? Happiness is. Now, 
I wanted to make a 3D item because I thought how cute would it be to have a little treat box to go with this. So let's set this aside. And I am going to bring in one of our sweet little boxes. That's what these are called. You get 10 in a pack for $10. This is a really good value because these are so simple. All you have to do is fold on the lines. We've got score lines that are already here for us. Fold on all the score lines. I'm going to pick off this adhesive backing. So they've even got the tape on here for you. Just pretty nice. Pull these tabs in, pull these tabs in, and now you're going to square up these sides just like that. Is that not just the easiest box you've ever put together? I love this. So what are we gonna do with this? Well, I've been snacking on these little conversation hearts and I thought these would be super cute. Before I put these in here, I wanted to let you know that this box is big enough to hit, to hold gift cards. They'll fit right in there. You can wrap them in tissue paper. You can put the gift card in and put the candy in with it. I think this is just a fantastic little idea to give out as a gift. And I'm thinking that my kids and grandkids are gonna love these and maybe I'll get them like a gift certificate to Dairy Queen or something. They love to go for ice cream. So we can fill this up with our conversation hearts. And now we're going to decorate. So I've got my box all closed up. I got a heart in my mouth because I love them. <laughs> and then we're going to make our box. So these two pieces, two and three eighths by three and three eighths. Yep, I just wanna make sure I had that right. I am going to make this match my card because, well, why wouldn't you, right? And we're just gonna glue this on. I'm gonna turn it over and glue this on the back. So many pretty, pretty different patterns to choose from to decorate up these boxes. Like the sky is the limit. You could do so many things with that free pack of paper. Here comes the back of our box. And then I've got half inch strips. What I'm gonna do with those is I'm going to add them to my box sides. I just run a bead of glue. This is our multi-purpose liquid glue, by the way. I absolutely love it for my card making and it's great for scrapbooking. And I'm just gonna put this half inch strip on the sides of my box trim it. Now you could measure it and cut it that way if you wanted to, but gosh, this is just so much easier to just add that little bit of glue and put these pieces right on here and trim it right in place. Sometimes this is easier than measuring stuff, right? <laughs> and put this one on here. I think I'm going to trim this a little bit closer because it's kind of sticking up there. Okay, so here is our cute little box. I want to make sure I've got this at the top. Here's, here's the top. So we're going to do just a little bit of decorating on here. And what I thought I'd do is cut out a couple of these clouds right out of this heart paper. Okay, because it's kind of the color of clouds, right? We're going to cut out a couple of those. We are going to take this sentiment. It says a little something to brighten your day. I'm gonna stamp that on a scrap of black. We are going to emboss it with white embossing powder. That way it's gonna go, you know, it's gonna match our card nicely. Now, if you ever have any powder that you have someplace where you don't want it to be, you can take a little paintbrush or you can just rub your finger over it and pull it right off of there before you start heat setting. And 
that looks like it's done. Again, I'm using my take your pick tool to hold things in place. This thing is fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna die cut these clouds. I am going to take this little sentiment and I'm gonna die cut it with this. This is gonna be so cute. I'll be right back. Okay, here comes all our bits and pieces. Here they are. Okay, I'll take this. Let's see, I think I'm gonna put it at a little bit of an angle. We're gonna add some dimensionals to the back. I'm using the black ones because they're gonna come in handy again on this black paper. And I'm gonna put this right on here like this. And then I think I would like to use some dimensionals on these clouds because I think that's going to be super cute. I don't know. I don't think I need three. I think I only need two of them. We'll see what happens here. And I just thought these little clouds would look super cute on here. Just like, whoops. I want that dimensional to be on my box, not on my label. And then I'm wondering if I should add some of the twine. What do you guys think? Yep, <laughs> I think I should. So I'm going to wrap it around the box a couple times. This will not interfere when the my um, kids or grandkids open the box up, right? Because you don't, I don't want to tie it close, although you could if you wanted to. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Look how cute that is. Let me get this nice and snug. Here we go. There's our cute little bow. And then I want to put some embellishments on it because I'm obsessed with them they're so pretty. Again with my take your pick tool. Absolutely love this thing. It is my all-time favorite. Let's see. I'll take another big one and we'll put it right up there. Okay. What do you guys think? Does this make you happy? Happiness is. I think this makes me really happy. Like, who wouldn't be happy to get this? It is just stinking adorable. I promised that I would tell you about the celebration. So we have this brochure and this promotion lasts until the end of February. Everything in here is free. So we've got free with a $50 order, free with a $50 order, free with a $50 order. And then here's that beautiful Sunshine and Rainbows paper, free with a $50 order. You get an entire pack of six by six paper. There's no limit to how many you can get. If you want two of these and your order is $100, you get two of them free. The other great thing about Celebration is that if you would like to join my team, you get to choose $125 in product for only $99. Now, you can make a business out of this and I'm here to help you do that. Or you can be a happy discount shopper and just shop for yourself and get a discount on all your future orders. Only $99. You get to choose $125 worth of any product that you want. Now, here's the deal. During our celebration promotion, you get to add two stamp sets of any two stamp sets in the catalog. As long as you can buy them, you can add them to your kit two free stamp sets. So $99, pick out $125 worth of product and get two stamp sets of any price on top of that and a discount on all your future orders. And you get to be part of something so much bigger. Being on my team is so much fun. I've never had anybody tell me, oh, I wish I wouldn't have done this. You get a fantastic deal here. You get to enjoy all the benefits. We've got card challenges. I do mystery stamping. Um, you get to be part of the Stamp Happy Academy subscription website for free. There are so many benefits. It's crazy. So join my team. You're going to find all the information on my blog. Um, under this video on YouTube is going to be a link 
that's going to take you to the celebration brochure. I should say it's going to take you to my online store where you're going to see all of the celebration items. It's also, there's going to be a link to take you to all the information and a join link if you would like to join my team and take advantage of this fabulous promotion that's going on. There are no strings attached, so there's nothing bad going to happen if you decide to do this. I just want you to know that, and I think you've known me long enough. You can trust me, right, on that? I hope so. So here's my fabulous projects. This is part of the One Stamp at a Time blog hop. Please click right up here. That is going to take you to my blog where you're going to find a list of other demonstrators that are making projects with a happiness is theme today. I hope you'll join me. I'm thinking we're going to all have a lot of brand new product to share with you. This is my current host code. I always, always appreciate your orders. If there's anything that you need to get from Stampin' Up, please don't hesitate to head to my blog where you'll find my store link. Also, under the YouTube video, you're going to find a store link. You can head right over there and shop. Use this code if your order is under $150. If it is over $150, don't use this code. And please, if your order is over $100, consider getting this kit. You have nothing to lose, so much to gain so much to gain. But if your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get rewards from Stampin' Up. I definitely want you to have those. All right, I'm going to let you go. I want to thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. I so appreciate it. Make sure you check out the hop. It's going to be a lot of fun. Bye-bye.